I guess we need to talk. This is all started because of one comment. I do want to tell Wix Raven that you did do a good job. You got 600 something likes on your comment, which is really good. It shows creativity. I appreciate that. And this video has 407 dislikes, so just keep that in your head. Dalton, speaking on behalf of most of your subscribers, we could use a good explanation. We know you read the comments. One, if we want to buy your merchandise, we will. If not, please don't shove it down our throat. Let's, let's stop right there. So Mr. Raven, if you haven't already heard, if you want any 3D Machines apparel or merchandise, go to the comment section below. I know how many shirts I sell. I know how many views I get. The amount of views I get compared to the shirts I sell are nowhere near. They are far between, let me tell you that. Usually I plug the merchandise in just for fun and games. And sometimes I have hopes that you go ahead and buy some 3D Machines apparel. Like I do put anywhere from 8 to 14 hours in a day per video. I'm not saying you have to buy anything. I'm merely suggesting it to show your support. Every dollar I make, whether it's YouTube or Teespring, it all goes into the channel. If you take my 2016 taxes or my 2017 soon to be taxes and you look at how much I made to how much I spent to make that money, you would see that I put 90% of the money back into the channel. I don't have a Rolls Royce, I don't have a Corvette, I don't have a GTR, I don't have a Lamborghini, I don't have a BRZ, I don't have a warehouse. I live in my mother's home. I work out of this small garage. I am literally taking all the money I make and putting it back into this YouTube thing. I guess I'm a bad guy. Where did my machines go? The KTM is right here. My 600 is right there. My GX1000 is right there. My KX250 is right there. The Gator is directly behind me. Behind that is the Ranger. Up at my grandma's is the BMW. All the machines are right there. If, if I just fixed everything, I wouldn't film anything. Everything I do takes four to five times longer because I film it, and I do it in a good way. Before I go any further, this isn't bitching or complaining. This is merely telling you guys the behind the scenes of what goes on here. So, so anything I say, don't take it negatively. It's all for your information. So nothing's changed there. Just time is, is shorter. With more stuff comes less time. Could you have a good explanation video? We don't know what happened for the week you were gone. These daily videos, half of them not being the good old 3D machine style. What about a video where you finally sit down and explain what's going on for the plans for the future and what's been going on? So let's dive right into it. I have my sheet right here. So when I went to Florida to visit my grandfather, I saw that the views were down for the last couple videos. They were only at 89 and 88,000 views. Uh, the videos before that weren't that good either. Um, one was at 100,000, one was at 90,000, and uh, I found Jake Paul while I was down there, and uh, Jake Paul's killing it. He's, he's doing a phenomenal job, and I'm sure there's people that are going to go down to the comment section right now and say, Jake Paul, or Jake Paul's a bitch, or anything like that, but this kid's killing it on YouTube. I appreciate that. I wish I had his success. Saying that, I, I found him. I wanted to try to take what he was doing and maybe add a little bit of that on my channel. After three videos, I found out that I can't do what he does. He's got it dialed right in and the views and, and what he brings in monetarily show it. Um, so, so no, I will no longer do videos like that. But after those three videos, everything was the same. Other than cinematic shots and a couple 3D machines plugs, nothing has changed. My videos are getting more views now. I'm getting more likes. Yes, I'm getting more dislikes. But the dislikes to likes, likes are still winning. Like I'm saying, there are now 250 more people that are disliking, but there are 450 more likes that are coming in. So I'm going to continue what I'm doing. I think I'm dialed right in for what I can do and what I'm comfortable doing. Comments are also up, and, and those are all good things. That's all engagement, and that's what I want to see. I want to see people dislike a video as long as they go in the comment section and say, I dislike the video, and don't call me like a <laughs> or you're stupid, or your teeth are nasty, or you live in your mom's house. I know all those things are true. Go down to the comment section and talk like an adult. Talk like somebody professional that I would like to reply to and or even dedicate a video like I am here. I dislike this video because you did dot dot dot. And explain it well. And then I know how to potentially make it nice for you. The people that like the video as well. I love when you say Dalton, I appreciate your videos and things like that. But if you really want me to get a little bit better and a little bit more dialed in for you, leave that in the comment section as well. Um, that, that's what it's there for. So basically at the end of the day, it's all about change and, and people are keep on bringing up change. Let me try to finally address that. And that is everything changes, whether you know it or not, things, things are going to change. Um, I've changed probably about five times since I started my YouTube career. Um, the first, the first couple of years I was terrible at it. 
Uh, I, I then did my first transition by editing better and then putting a little bit better content in there. Then the third change was me like acting like a total redneck and, and I changed as a person, not just my content. I later found out that I didn't want to do that. I, I found out that moto vlogging was better than that and it was getting more views. So then I changed to doing that. And before I wasn't using a lot of swear words or, or none at all. And then moto vlogging used a lot of swear words. So I was saying this, that, this guy's a And then after that I changed again and I followed Casey Neistat. And, and I liked what he had to offer and I liked that he didn't swear and I liked that that he was professional. Granted, I don't agree with everybody 100%. I, I do take the positives and I, and I try to add those into my videos. Like what screwed Casey Neistat is he got political. I will be voting for Hillary Clinton. And people just disagree with you. You know, if, you, if you're rooting for Trump and he says Hillary, obviously you're not gonna like him because that's not your team. But, but I took the positives that I've learned out of his vlogs and I implemented them on mine. After that, uh, I went to Florida and I was psyching myself out. I'm like, I'm like, Dalton, you suck at making videos now. You can't do it anymore. You're not good at it anymore. And I started taking that seriously. So then while I was down in Florida, I found Jake Paul and Jake Paul is, is killing it. So that's why I made those three videos that I did. The season we're on, episode one, two, and three, um, that's because I want to try to implement what he has. It's not going to work for me, so I can't really do that. So just know that the only thing that has changed from when you were liking my videos, you know, like two or three weeks ago, that is still going to be the format. The only difference is I'm going to have cinematic shots. I'm going to throw a couple jabs in there once in a while. I'm going to plug my merchandise because like I said, all the money I make from YouTube and He Springs all goes into the channel. I want to make better entertainment. I know you want to see better entertainment. Don't worry about money. Just don't worry about the money, man. Everybody gets caught up on that. But for now, just enjoy the entertainment. Just enjoy the videos. Have a good time with me. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your engagement. Thank you for hitting the like or dislike button. And explain it in the comment section below. If you want me to reply to a comment, whether it's in one minute, one hour, one day, one week, one month, put a creative comment in the comment section below. Know that I will never respond to hate or stupidity or or unprofessionalism. So if you think like that, you'll never get a response from me. But for the 99% of you that think positively and like what I do, keep that in mind, you'll get a reply from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I am going to work on machines. That's not going to change. If I don't put up a video tomorrow, or when I don't put up a video, it's not that things went haywire. It's that I didn't have time to edit it. Stay froggy fresh. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.